Multi, on the other hand, allows you to actually assign whatever chord you want to each key. So I can assign multiple different chords to each key and customize it to, say, for instance, create a chord progression. Let's do that. I'm going to clear out what's already here. If I hit clear, then I can go one at a time. That clears one, then I have to hit clear again, and then that clears a second one, right? Okay, I'm going to put it back in learn mode. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, I'm going to start here with C3 as my first trigger key. And I'm going to assign that A minor chord to it. So we're going to do an A minor chord progression. And then I'm going to go to the next key, which is D, and I'm going to assign an F major chord to that. So I'm going to do an inversion to that. So A, C, F. And then I'm going to go to the next key, which is E, and I'm going to assign an E minor seventh. And when I do this, I'm also going to use an inversion. So E, G, and B here, right? Now, you see that those notes are showing up in my output keyboard. To add the seventh, let's say I made a mistake and went here. So that's a E minor six. I want to make that a minor seventh. To delete a note that I've added to the chord, as long as I'm still holding it there, I'm just going to touch that again to get rid of it, and then I'm going to go here to make it right. Let me get out of learn. Those three chords have been assigned to those notes, so. Still got my transpose on 24. Let's take that back down. And just like in single mode, anything on the outside of it is the single notes. How easy is that to start creating really cool chord progressions? If I wanted to clear all of these at once, it's just hold down option and hit the clear. It says clear all now. When I hold down option, it says clear all. Click. And now all of those are gone. So where this really becomes powerful is if you have a MIDI controller that is pads. Now the pads, they're cool for drums, but when you want to actually play a chord, they're not the easiest thing to try to figure out, you know, where's the third and the fifth and the seventh and all of that type of stuff. But with the chord trigger plugin, then I can assign individual chords to individual pads. And I'm going to do this. And this time I'm going to show you, like, you can do all kinds of things. So I'm going to create a chord progression and I'm going to uh, change the voice. And I'm going to spread the voice and across the keys and make it a little bit more rich than just basically, you know, regular triads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into learn mode. I'm still in multi because I want to put a different chord on four different pads. I'm going to go into learn. I'm going to touch, let me make sure I'm in screw C. I am. I'm going to touch the first pad, which is C3. So C3 has been assigned as a trigger, and now I need to play a chord. I'm going to play a C major seventh, but I'm going to start with the E, the G, the C, the E, and then the B to make that C major seventh. So I changed the voicing up a little bit. Then I'm going to go to the second pad. And with the second pad, I'm going to do an A minor 7th. And I'm going to do E, A, C, E, and G. Third pad, I'm going to do a G minor 7th flat 5. And to do that, I am going to, in the left hand, I'm going to do G, B flat. And then here, I'm going to do D flat and F. And that's assigned. And then one more pad here. And on that pad, I'm going to do a G diminished seven, which is almost the same, but I'm going to come down to stuff here. So G, B flat, D flat, and E. Now I'm going to get out of learn. Now these pads... has that really cool progression on it. And if I wanted to record it in, you'll see that it's going to record individual notes. It's going to record a C, a C sharp, a D, and a D sharp. But it's going to play those chords, the C major 7th, 
the A minor seventh, the G minor seventh flat five, and the G diminished seventh. So let's record it in really fast here. And if I open this up in my piano roll editor, you'll see that these are just single individual notes. Let me quantize it. The single individual notes. It's on quarters, man, A. There we go. But they trigger chords. So there you have it, the chord trigger plugin. One of my favorites.